Hey, what's up, family? Got another good one for y'all today. So pay attention to this one. And this, a lot of us have been through this at some point or another in our life. Rather, it's us or other family members. So that way, I'm going to title this one, In the Past. I'm going to put an angry face in front of that. Because we know sometimes family members, friends, neighbors, co-workers, sometimes they may have done something that rubbed you the wrong way or... Uh, physically done something to you, stole something from you, or spread some type of nonsense about you. We have, we have all done, been through that at some point or another, where now you, know, you go, I don't talk to my brother no more. I don't talk to my sister no more. You know, nah, they did me wrong, man. That stuff they did in the past. Nah, man, forget that, man. I don't deal with them. You know what I'm talking about. And at some point or another, we must try to reconcile with them, if possible. And as always, you know I love to give y'all a word of the day. Now, that's a familiar one. To reconcile now if you look it up it simply means to restore a relationship between others and sometimes you can even be friendly with it or let me get another way of putting it to coexist in harmony with another although you done been through some type of strife with them you know what i'm saying be a perfect example let's say uh soldiers and military soldiers and their sergeant captain or whatever a captain and a sergeant may not get along personally at all can't stand each other on a personal level, but they have a mission and a task that has been given orders to them, that's been brought down to them, that a task must be taken care of. So now that sergeant, that captain, they must coexist in harmony to, for a better cause. You get what I'm saying? They must put that personal stuff behind and say, we're gonna reconcile to get this mission done. You get what I'm saying? To reconcile. And that's where you get the word reconciliation. Sometimes you got married couples. They may go through a bitter divorce, hateful. But at sometimes, it's a wonderful thing when you hear, unfortunately, some married couples go through a divorce and very few, you may hear a few where they have reconciled and they had a, a divorce in such a harmonious way. They coexist with each other. Because if they haven't, you got the ones that's bitter. Whereas like, you know, especially if they got money, it's like, we got money, we got property, we got stock. And, one may say to the other, I'm going to make sure I take the house. I'm going to make sure I take the property, the stocks and bonds, and I'm going to take the kids. You know what I'm saying? But on a mature level, when they reconcile, that's when it's like, you know what? We work this out that's beneficial for both of us and our kids. And sometimes they be even better friends because they reconcile with maturity. And they realize, what you did, you hurt me in the past. That's just the name of the title of the video. It was in the past. We got over, time helped us heal wounds. We got over that. You know what I'm saying? Now, we probably best of friends. Like I said, a lot of y'all out there, you might have that old friend. Y'all grew up together since the sandbox, figuratively speaking. Went to elementary school all the way up to now, but something he or she did that really pissed you off. They crossed you. They betrayed you in some kind of way. That's another one of my videos. It's called betrayal. They betrayed you in some kind of way where you're like, man, I ain't never messed with that person. But years later, you realize, man, that's in the past. You know what I'm saying? Me and that person had a lot more good times than bad. But what they did was wrong. But maybe I can reconcile with that person. Remember? To coexist in harmony. To restore a relationship. Maybe even friendly in a friendly way. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you another way to put it. Like I said, remember, y'all, what's the title of the video? in the past. Like I said, I'm gonna put mean looking faces in front of that and then say in the past. I'm gonna give you another prime example to look at this. Now pay attention, because this was a relevant one. I love this one. A lot of y'all out there, y'all remember the movie, The Lion King? Remember that? Great movie, classic, timeless, right? There was a part in The Lion King, remember, when Mufasa was killed and it was all because of his son Simba, remember that? But remember, Simba now, it's, it's time has passed, years has passed. He's been living a whole nother life with Puma and Timon, right? I know I'm being a little silly here, but it's a relevant point. He's living a whole nother life he forgot about in the past. He forgot about it. He's trying to move on. He's trying, right? Next thing you know, on this one particular day, remember the little the little crazy monkey, he seen him. And when he seen Simba, he recognized him right away who it was. It was Mufasa, live again. But when he seen him, he knew it was Simba. He said, oh, it is you, it is you. Because he realized Simba has forgotten who he was. And that's when he said, it is you, it is you. You have forgotten who you are. You've forgotten who you are. 
And Simba was like, oh man, that's the past, man. He said, I don't want to remember none of that. My father's dead because of me. And that's when the monkey said, it doesn't matter. He said, that was a long time ago. That was in the past. And then Simba still kept pushing. He said, yeah, but it's because of me. What happened in the past? And that's when the monkey took a stick and he, whoop, he popped Simba up on the head. And Simba was like, ouch, why you do that for? And the monkey was like, it doesn't matter. It's in the past. <laughs> you know, he let him know, I hit you, but it don't hurt no more. It's in the past. He said, you need to go back and restore what is yours. Remember, because he was supposed to become the king. You must reconcile with all your family members. They have forgotten you. You have forgotten them. You must reconcile with them. You see what I'm saying? Made it a great movie. But I love the way he said that. When he beat him over the head. <laughs> Why you do that? It doesn't matter. It's in the past. <laughs> that was so funny. But anyway, like I said, I understand. And because me, there's no one on this planet who hasn't went through some type of hurtful feelings with Especially a family member, friend, co-worker, wherever, however. At some point, we have went through a very unfortunate situation with some someone. And at some point, maturity does kick in. We say, is it worth reconciling about? Now, don't get me wrong. I understand some things and some people, there is no reconciliation. There's some things where a person crosses that line, you go, oh, hell no. It's not happening. And now you got to use those terms that our parents taught us as kids. You ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. Sometimes with some people, you just need to stay, stay the heck away from them because any conversation with them, you know, you might snap. You, you might take it there. Sure, you got people all over this world where they killing jokers for the simplest of things. Where you like, damn, he killed them for what reason? He, cause of what? He stepped on his shoe? Now he's dead and you in jail doing 30 years? Is you crazy? Some people, it's best, don't say a word, because they might take you over the edge. But you use that maturity side that you have in you, and you say, some are worth reconciling with, especially with family. You go, mm, it might be worth it. You give it a shot. And sometimes, even that, you go, you know what? I like to keep my peace of mind and my sanity. So therefore, I'm just gonna keep my distance. You get what I'm saying? But as I said, we all know and have been through that at some point in time, at some point in time. And that's why I titled this video, In the Past. And that's why I use the word of the day, reconcile. To reconcile, to restore relationships between someone. And sometimes you can be even be friendly. Or another way of putting it, to coexist. And that's why I use that military term. To coexist, meaning we could work. Think about it, you could have that, in, that other employee that you work with. Where you can't stand him, but together, y'all gotta get this job done. Y'all can coexist and get a job done. We just not on a personal level no more. You get what I'm saying? And for a lot of you jokers out there living whatever, street life, gang life, whatever, man, a lot of y'all as well, sometimes you can coexist. Because think about it, a lot of y'all making that mistake saying my neighborhood, my hood, but you don't own no hospitals, grocery stores, or whatever in that neighborhood, but you saying over some turf, you willing to kill this man for? Kill your brother for? You get what I'm saying? This is silly. Think about it. I want y'all to really think about it. You willing to kill somebody over a turf that you don't even own. So on a positive note, in close, I'm just leaving it as that. Reconcile. Sometimes some things are worth reconciling about. And the other maturity way to look at it, if it's not worth reconciling, just keep your distance. You'll have your peace of mind by doing so. But don't let the stress of others make you get out of that character and you're willing to just say <clears throat> and just mess everything up. Nah, you don't want that. Reconcile some, others stay away from. And on that note, remember, it's in the past. It doesn't matter. It's in the past. <laughs> All right, y'all, peace.